Yeah, mate. Hey, Mr. Premier? No, no, we're on the wine minister. Oh, yeah, that's right, the sorry. premier's chair too, mate. You wouldn't shouldn't sit in there. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've just prepared a, a, a statement for the premier to say, just you know, to endorse Plonk. As premier of South Australia, I'm extremely proud to be. I don't think you'd say that. What? Extremely proud. Okay, what? Which part? The extremely or the proud? Probably both. You know, we we've got to be a little bit cautious with you guys. Yeah, look, I totally understand. Yeah. Look, we just want we just want endorsement from the premier. Yeah, you know, no, look, he's like, happy to endorse it. As premier of South Australia. Yeah, that's going really well so far. Um, I hope you enjoy the journey as much as I did. We hasn't been on the journey. So which of that sentence then would you like to take out? I hope you enjoyed the journey as much as I did. Oh okay, yeah, if you start at I and end in did and just strike that, I think. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Does that work for you? And then I thought right at the end, cheers. Yeah, you know. Lose cheers. Yeah, I think lose cheers. <laughs> Yeah, this is Nathan from Paul. Hey, Mr. Yeah. Premier, how are you, yeah. sir? Good to meet you. Great, thank you very much for doing this. Cheers. Great. Roddy? So we've done some work on the statement, and that's yeah. uh, the agreed words that we're going to use around the show. This is it, isn't it? Uh, action. As Premier of South Australia, plonk. I think they'll be happy with that. Great. That was straight to the point. What do you think, Nathan? Yeah, look, it's, uh, yep, it certainly is. Uh, it's what you want? It's yeah. Certainly brief. Show to sell your goods, that's the place to go. I was walking through one day, a man had his fruit on display. He's got the biggest and the best. Do you really need me for all this promo stuff? I mean, you know, I've got chaser projects coming up. I thought you weren't talking to those guys. You know, we're a creative unit. It's a bit more complex than that. How are they anyway? I don't know, we're not really talking. You're here for the festival, yeah? You want fine? No, we're fine. I've got good wine. We're fine, thank you. Look, today's all about promo, promo, promo. Okay? Hey, guys! <laughs> Josh, I thought what? you went home. Nah, missed you guys too much. OK, but the network definitely has the Plonk hard drive, right? Oh, I gave it to Jen. She does all the boring oh. stuff. I mean, come on, we can split up Team Plonk, hey? Hey, Josh, what is that? Oh, it's my Chris Taylor jumper. I don't think so. What's with the pink bits? Look. Well, what a day it's been. <laughs> it's gonna get a lot of buzz. And you can get a little bite tonight. I am on HDMI. Oh, got a show bag. <laughs> oh, I hope it's got fairy floss. Hey, put your foot off. Oh, sorry. Oh, Dukka. What's a din? Could eat this all day. Dukka, Dukka. Dukka, 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 Dukka. <laughs> You guys are McLaren Vale, right? Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, I think we were meant to come and film with you. You remember that. What happened to you guys? Oh, I want to say schedule. Can I get a bit of the single vineyard, man? You know, we've got a beautiful cellar door down there. You should come down. Oh, look, no, we're all wrapped now. Uh, just on the promotional trail, hence this thing. But, uh, you know, if you like, I could take a case of wine off your hands, let my friends know if I like it or not. Good PR for you. Yeah, mate, we don't really do that. Mm -hmm. The it was there. All right, so I just say you can come here, watch Plonk on this TV here. No, no, that'll be a trailer. Yeah, just a trailer. It's not working. I know it's not working. I just need you to tell people about the show. All right, so I just tell people you can watch Plonk on TV, not this TV, but your own TV. Soon. 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 OK? It's not very specific. I know. I'm waiting on a callback from the network. Networks. Why are you standing there? Nathan Earls on line two. Who? The Plonk producer. He wants to know the time slot for Plonk. He hasn't heard from anyone here. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. Who watches wine shows anyway? Not me. <laughs> so what do I tell him? <laughs> tell him. We'll tell him when we feel like telling him. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. <laughs> what did he say when he'd watch it? There you guys are. Thanks, Jen. Gee, we're not exactly in prime location here, are we? Near the bathrooms. Yeah, no, we should be out in the main hall. Out near Penfolds. Have you seen their tent? Chris, Huge. will you please stop wandering off? These are my people, Nath. I need to walk amongst my people. We are your people, OK? Plonk is your people. Where are you going? It's going to hit up sexy cheese. Sexy cheese? Hey, you're not hitting up sexy cheese. How sexy is it? Hey, stay away from sexy cheese. Chris! Chris! <laughs> Your attention, exhibitors. Doors are about to open. It's raining all over town. 
gonna tear the big house down Who rings the bell? Who rings the bell? Mm. What do you think? Oh, it's good. It's the good. Triple cream. Mm. They're delicious. Which one's the, the sexy cheese? This one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome back to our Meet the Maker stand here at Adelaide Cellar this Door is a Festival. Real beauty. Now, who knows about the chaser out there? Some nods, some nods. Uh, it may surprise it's like you. Judy Calls from the uh, Plonk well, Promo Trail. That is good. It may interest you to know that one of the guys from the chaser has developed a special relationship with the South Australian wine industry. And we're going to meet with him today. Just take one more. I mean, so without further ado, let me introduce for you a big warm welcome for the chasers, Andrew Hansen. Chris? Oh, we... <laughs> Chris, you're here to give Andrew some moral support, right? Uh, no, I, I thought we were talking about me. Mm. I was at McLaren Vale maybe a couple of weeks ago. I love the Vale. I love Hey, the morning, guys. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Excellent. Super. I haven't heard of you guys before. Can I grab a test? Oh, no, we're, a, um, we're actually a television show. Well, it says plonk. Yeah. So can we try some plonk? Thank you, Andrew. So when did the idea first dawn on you to put your name to a wine? What's going on? Well, I wasn't a big wine fan to begin with, to be honest, but the winery approached me with this idea and I just loved it. My only condition was that it was proudly made in South Australia. <laughs> you don't even drink. I mean, I drink. I'm the drinker. Big drinker. Uh, and going from political satire into being a wine celebrity, that's kind of a canny move, career-wise. Oh, definitely, definitely. Although I was very careful about what I did, you know. I, I didn't want to put my name to some slapdash inferior product. <laughs> so are they out of wine? No, no, darling, they have no wine at all. Why don't you have any wine? Well, it's a TV show about wine. Yeah, it's called Plonk. It stars Chris Taylor, you know, from The, from the Chaser. Can we mm. see that? Uh, yeah, we could. I, I had a trailer lined up, but I can't get the bloody uh, television to work. To me, a great wine is like a great piece of music. It has high notes, deeper notes, and a perfectly balanced harmony. So what are my favourite notes of all? The white ones. <coughs> a bit racist. Naturally. I love this bit. Perfect pitch on. It helps get some oxygen in there. Thanks, Dad. All right, thank you, guys. Enjoy the day. Oh, God. Can you believe that guy? Hey, neighbour. Hey. Rory Walker, CCL Wine Labelling. Hi, Nathan Earl, uh, Plonk. Not having a lot of luck? No, not today. No. Hey, I get it. I'm the wine labelling stall. Not a lot of punters want to talk adhesives at an event where they're giving away fantastic food and wine. Yeah. You must get some interest, though. I mean... oh, every festival's the same. This year I brought in the fairy lights and uh, the homemade chocolate crackles. Yeah, I mean, is it working or...? Well, we've got a pack of jerky over here and we've got fudge and more over there. I mean, what chance does a crackle have? Well, it is delicious fudge, you know. Yeah, it's delicious fudge. Ladies and gents, let's thank Andrew Hansen for being here today. <laughs> and, and, of course, Chris for dropping by. Y yeah. Um, coming up next, we're going straight into the White Wine and Seafood Show. Actually, uh, Max, can I uh, briefly have the floor? Uh, is this on? <laughs> Seeing as we are all here in this special event uh, uh, amongst friends, I thought I'd take the moment to say that Andrew's not the only chaser to be releasing his own wine. Really? No, that's right. Uh, Chris Taylor is very proud to announce the release of a uh, Shiraz. Really? Does your Shiraz have a name? Or? Uh, yeah, but just keeping it simple. Just going to call it Taylor's. Uh, and Taylor's is a quite prominent name of a winery in the Clare Valley. Obviously, yes. Joke, of course. Well spotted. Very good. Uh, pick up on the sarcasm. No, I think we'll call the, uh, the... Well, we will. We have called the wine. 
Um, knob. Fountain. Pen. Knob. Knob. Fountain. fountain. Knob fountain. fountain. Knob fountain. Mm -hmm. Really? And when exactly do we get to taste your knob fountain, Chris? You brought it with you, I assume. You... Absolutely, of course. We'll be launching the wine officially uh, this afternoon over at the Plonk stall. Uh, great, if you want to taste Chris Taylor's knob fountain this afternoon over at the Plonk stall, which you'll find on your maps. Come on. <sighs> Looks colourful. Need a wine, need a wine. Hi, how are you going? Okay, well, I I got a business opportunity for you. You know what you need? Brand ambassador. Your wine, which is great, could be paired with this face, which is great. It looks like you've got quite a lot of wine, so I'm not asking to be on all of them. It doesn't have to be a massive photo of me, but something that says Chris Taylor on the label. What's that? Sambaravi, no one's heard of that. So if you want to help market that. It's a variety from Jordan. Okay, no one's heard of it. Does anyone need a face? Anyone need a face for their wine? 